How's it going everyone? So slugs and snails are one of the biggest pests that you're going to have in the veggie garden. Um, I know this from personal experience and I'm sure that you guys have as well at some point. Um, and there are a lot of ways to control them uh, out on the market through different like nurseries and here in Australia like Bunnings and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of them rely on snail baits and other really nasty chemicals that you don't want to be having in, really using in your garden. So instead, I've come up with a number of different ways, organic ways, in which you can control your slugs and snails. Um, so some of these rely on raw materials, which I'm sure that most of you will have um, by themselves. And then also some are uh, some organic sort of sprays or um, sort of lures or like baits. And then the third one is sort of uh, some metals that you can actually use. Um, to help prevent uh, damage from snails and slugs. So I'll pretty much just be quickly discussing how each one works and how you can just pretty much apply it or make it up. Um, so I hope you guys ca uh, like this and I will catch you at the end. Okay, so the first one are crushed eggshells. Now this is a pretty popular one. So this stops slugs and snails because they are very sharp and pointy and really rough and the snails don't like to crawl over that. So all you do, grab your crushed eggshells and just form a, um, a ring around whichever plant you choose, um, you want to protect. So in this case, this young bean is going to be targeted by slugs and snails soon. In fact, it already has. So just by applying some eggshells around the ring, just like that, it'll be safe from um, getting eaten by any slugs and snails. Okay, so the next option is to use used coffee grounds. Um, so the way this stops the slugs and snails is they are extremely sensitive to caffeine. So even with your used coffee grounds, if you sprinkle them around whichever, whatever you want to protect, um, if the slugs and snails go over them, they're going to receive a hit of caffeine and just die. Um, so you can also um, make a spray out of this, just any used coffee grounds or instant coffee, and you just mix that up with some water. Um, drain away the coffee grounds and then just spray onto your plants pretty much daily or directly onto the slugs and snails. Spray it on and that should kill them for you. So I'm just going to apply it directly over some of these lettuces here. So just again like the eggshells a bit of a ring around um, your plants. Otherwise I know that some people also say with strawberries they just sprinkle it over all of the plant. So I'll just keep on sprinkling that's how you use coffee grounds. Okay, so the next method is to use copper tape. Um, so this I just bought at a nursery um, for about $15, so it was uh, 10 meters uh, for $15. And what copper tape does is it actually produces a little electrical charge. It pretty much makes um, a galvanic cell. So basically this is when you have a metal and a metal solution and you mix them together and they produce a small electric charge. So basically, copper is the metal, and then uh, with the snails and slugs, whatever sort of mucus and slime they have, it reacts with the copper to create a little electrical charge. And this way, it almost the copper acts as like an electric fence around whatever seedlings you have. So back home um, on the farm, um, with one on the garden shed, I produced a little um, sort of, I put some copper tape around there. Um, so I'll show you a quick clip that I made, um, just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the little setup that I've got with the copper foil. So basically, all around the outside of the shed, all around the border, I've just put um, some copper tape or copper foil tape around the outside. Um, so this has stopped the snails getting through to our seedlings here. These are some tomatoes. Uh, and yeah, this has worked so far absolutely brilliantly. Uh, I haven't seen any snails, especially when we had... Um, things like the pumpkins and zucchinis, which they absolutely love. Uh, as soon as like this was put up, it stopped it, um, which is awesome. Okay, so another way to control your slugs and snails is by making a beer trap. So basically, um, it's most commonly used with beer, as the name implies. That's where you have you get beer and put it into a container like this, and it's best to um, have a, something like a lid on it. So a lot of people have containers in ground. And they, and they sort of make a little almost roof over it. I just recycled an old milk carton, cut out some holes in the side. So basically what you do is then fill it up with beer, 
dig it into the ground with the soil at the level of these little holes. And the, um, the snails and slugs love the yeastiness of the beer and so they'll go into it. But if you don't want to waste beer or you don't want to buy it, then you can use something like some fruit juice, especially orange juice because they like citrus as well, and then mix some yeast in with it. So all I'm going to do is open this up. Pour some of the orange juice in there. And this is actually an orange juice concentrate. So pour some orange juice in there. Get a packet of yeast. Probably only going to add about half a packet for this. Give it a bit of a mix around. Now I'm just going to dig a little hole for it so it can sit in there with the soil level. Now that's done, and especially because it's in a, in a warm spot where it gets the sun, it's actually going to start fermenting and producing alcohol as well. So then the snails will be attracted to this and they'll go in there and drown. So that's basically how it works. How it works is that the snails, are, the snails and slugs are attracted to it, they go in and drown. But just one little note, this can actually attract a few other things as well, such as millipedes and other insects. Um, sometimes even if you have them large enough, rats and rodents. Um, so that is just a caution as well that it does attract other things, but the slugs and snails fall for it every single time Okay, another way you can use to control um, snails and um, slugs is to actually use aluminium foil Now this is again something that really everyone would have And the way it works is uh, that the snails and slugs they don't like climbing on the aluminium foil, it's all that crinkly, it's light, it's this metal, they don't like to um, go across it. So what you do is get a piece, then I like to just fold it in half, so it adds a bit of strength. Now you want to crinkle it a little bit, you don't want it to be real smooth otherwise they might go over it, but definitely when it's crinkled they hate that. So then just to protect this young volunteer uh, nectarine or peach tree here, what you want to do is fold it around, sort of wrap it together so it forms, so wrap it together so it forms a full barrier and then push it down into the soil. Now this is key, you want to make sure that it has full contact with the soil then even put some soil back around the top or a bit of mulch just to hold it in place. So this way the slugs and snails they can't get up underneath it and the only way they can get to it is through going through the aluminium foil but they won't like that so your plants are safe. Now the next way to kill and control your slugs and snails is by making a chili and garlic spray. So basically all I did to do this was get a clove of garlic um, crush it and so like mince it and put it in a little container and then also I got two chilies very hot chilies and then roughly cut them up as well it's better actually to cut it up a lot finer and then put that in and then put over some boiling water I think it was about 500 mils or so um, then I let that seep overnight to extract all the oils from it and then once that was done I put it in this container put this in this spray bottle and added a real little bit of detergent just any oil washing detergent or you could use soap flakes. So basically what this does is one, the chili and the garlic, once it makes contact with the slugs and snails, it actually um, sort of burns it, but then also the soap in it um, suffocates the, um, the slugs and snails. So what you can do is either directly spray this onto any slugs and snails or spray it onto plants that you want to protect. Now one caution though that you don't want to do this on really warm like hot days. While today is sunny, it is quite cool. And so I'm going to put it on this potato just to protect it. Now why you don't want to do a spray this in hot weather is because this will actually burn the plant. The plant will wither back and die. But it works very effectively and it can also be used on a broad range of um, pests and insects that cause damage to your plants in the garden. So there you go everyone, hopefully that's given you a few different ideas or some methods just to help kill or control slugs and snails in your veggie garden. So if you did like that video, um, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, then one, make sure you check out my tips and tricks playlist, which you can click or tap right there. 
And then if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do. Um, just click on my face, um, click or tap on my face that's here. Uh, and that way you will stay updated. And whenever I post a new video here on YouTube, you can come along and suss out what I'm talking about. So, um, also please make sure that you leave a uh, comment, suggestions or questions in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or if you just want to say good day, I'll say good day back as well. Um, <laughs> but other than that, um, I'll leave it at that and I hope that your gardens are booming and that you are happy and healthy and I will catch you all next time. Cheers all. Oh, that is concentrated. Oh my goodness.